गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर दिस और दैट वीडियो आई एम सुपर डुपर एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस वीडियो बिकॉज आई एम कंपेयरिंग दिस सन स्कूप इन विजिबल सन स्क्रीन एस पी एफ फोर्टी एंड दी कॉन्शियस केमिस्ट क्लियर शील्ड एस पी एफ थर्टी इन माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन बोथ ऑफ दी सन स्क्रीन आर वेरी सिमिलर एंड आई हैव यूज दैम ऑन डिफरेंट डेज आई हैव एन एक्चुअली एवर यूज दैम लाइक टूगेदर लाइक हाफ एंड हाफ एवर बट इवन बाई यूजिंग दैम सेपरेटली लुकिंग एट द टेक्सटर्स they are slightly different i'm going to tell you that but if you have one you easily don't need the other basically you can decide for yourself what kind of a finish you like what um what how are you going to use it basically are you using it with makeup or without makeup um are you going to wear this under makeup or are you going to use it on its own depending on how you're using it with or without makeup and what kind of a finish you like on your skin and what kind of a texture you like to apply um i think you'll be able to make an informed decision as to which one you prefer um of course if you want to make your decision for yourself then please stay tuned till the end of the video i also wanted to compare these side by side to be very honest because i wanted to figure out for myself whether i actually like these or not whether i want to keep them in my personal collection or not um or do i just want to declutter them because if i have to be completely honest these clear silicone sunscreens are not really my personal favorite i like something that is more like the conscious chemist sun shield i prefer that way more than the clear shield or even like the dermaco 1% hyaluronic acid sunscreen that is like my favorite sunscreen at the moment um those are the kind of sunscreens that i actually tend to like way more than these clear gels i used to like them in the past and they worked for me in the past but do they work for me anymore or not if you want to know that please keep on watching but yeah i feel like the intro is getting super long now so you know what let's dive right into the video and um, let's move on to like you know going into the past a couple of hours prior where i actually did like the first impressions side by side demo and all of that so let's jump into that okay so now it's time to actually show you what these apply like and how they kind of compare to each other so i have both the sunscreens here obviously we have sunscoop invisible sunscreen spf 40 that i'm going to use on this side of my face and then i'm going to use conscious chemist clear shield spf 30 on this side of my face so i'm going to take one finger length of each and apply half and half so uh, let's go uh, let me also show you the texture comparisons so the sunscoop one is more of like a fluid gel if you can see whereas uh, the clear shield by conscious chemist is more so of like a primer gel consistency again i'm really hoping that the camera is going to capture okay i'm going to be spilling some sunscreen again can you see how liquidy the sunscoop is it's like literally falling off my finger whereas uh, the clear shield is more so like a primer and it's going to like stay where it's being put at now uh i'm applying the um invisible sunscreen by sunscoop and you can see it's kind of looking like you know it's mattifying my face and stuff which i of course do like but uh what i noticed the last time i did like a full face of this and it was like a first impression is that this stays like this when you first apply it but then eventually it just goes away it becomes like completely skin like anyway so now it's time to use the conscious chemist clear shield and i should actually clean my hand and then put this on this again feels similar but it got a little more of a matte texture you know like it actually literally feels like i'm applying a silicone primer very generously all over my face and side by side if you see there's not much of a difference i can't tell on camera 
if I'm being honest. If there is a difference or not. I had a little bit of like leftover sun soup, sunscreen from applying on this side, so don't worry, I'm not mixing any of the sides. At least I'm trying my best not to. But uh, yeah, uh, this is what the two look. I don't feel like it looks like I have two different sunscreens as of now, but I'm gonna go look in person in the mirror and be right back. Okay, so when I look in person, the only kind of difference that I see in the two sides is that on this side of my face, um, there is a slight like sheen going on. It's not shimmer, it's not glitter, of course. It's just like a shine, like a glow of sorts. Whereas on this side, it looks a lot more matte. So the sun scoop is got a little bit more of a sheen. Whereas the Conscious Chemist Clear Shield is more um, mattifying again. Like I said, more like a silicone primer. So those are the only differences that I see um, right now. What I'm gonna do is go have some breakfast, chill for a little bit. Um, and after that, I'm gonna do my makeup. So when I do my makeup, I'm gonna come back and kind of tell you how these two apply under makeup. Because I know for a fact that if I'm gonna keep like either of these or both of these or whatever, um, I am going to kind of always be wearing it under makeup so I want to make sure that whatever I keep um, is going to work well and is going to look good under makeup so that way I'm just I'm just preparing myself to make a more informed decision and I'm taking you through with me so that you guys can also um, benefit from that you know so yeah any which ways I'm going to go now but I'll see you in a second. So I'm back now that my makeup is almost done. It's not completely done because I don't have any lipstick on. Uh, but that's because I'm going to actually have lunch. And uh, even though a part of me was like, no, my face and my makeup looks incomplete. But the rational part of me was like, if you're just going to go have lunch after this, you don't want your lipstick to like completely get ruined. So um, I'm going to be practical and I'm going to sit here um, and do this part of the video without any lipstick on. And I hope that you guys don't mind that. But... I'm back um, and I did do my makeup on top of um, these two sunscreens that I use actually I should hold them this way because there is sun scoop on this side and conscious chemist on this side but um, I've done my makeup and this is what it looks like um, I think cheeks actually don't look as bad uh, they do look a little bit more makeup -y. I have to say that um, my regular sunscreens like the more hydrating um, the not dewy or sunscreens but like the creamier sunscreens that I have um, that are not silicone in texture definitely look way better and blend just into the skin a lot more seamlessly in terms of that they get absorbed into the skin and they also work very well with makeup but these two more um, silicone primer like sunscreens are kind of sitting on the skin and I feel like now that I put on makeup on top of them uh, they definitely look a little bit more cakier and like I have a layer of makeup um, on my face I am currently using the Maybelline fit me loose powder so uh, yeah it doesn't look as seamless and as like it doesn't look that well blended and I think on the cheeks it's still manageable but where it looks the worst is on the forehead I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera but in person if you look at my forehead right now there is like a layer of powder that is sitting that I've tried to blend it in but uh, it definitely doesn't look the way I would want it to so um, yeah on camera I think it's fine but if I had to step out of the house like this uh, I wouldn't feel very confident about my makeup so yeah that's something that you need to keep in mind um, that in my personal opinion it's not my favorite um, so yeah that is that um, so far I would say I might Keep these sunscreens in my collection for a little bit long, longer and see if I actually get an opportunity to wear them. But if I just stick to my other sunscreens that I love and I use and I don't see myself reaching for these at all, then I will eventually um, declutter. And I feel like I'm going to declutter both of them. Um, I was actually leaning on keeping the sunscoop one 
after like today's video because i feel like the sun scoop looks better on my skin as compared to the conscious chemist clear shield especially under makeup uh, like even if i have to compare my two cheeks this side looks more textured than this side so um yeah if you're looking at buying any of these and you're going to be wearing it with makeup i i don't really recommend them but if you had to i would say go for sun scoop over conscious chemist but in general i just wouldn't if you're wearing them without makeup um i would actually recommend conscious chemist because it's got more of that matte look as compared to the sun scoop one which has a little bit of more um like there's more life going on there's a little bit of more dew going on on the face it's not dewy or glowy but there's a little bit more of a sheen like i mentioned earlier so yeah depending on what you're exactly looking for i would recommend one over the other but uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video i hope that it was helpful um and i hope that you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video i'm going to sign off uh, without any lipstick but yeah that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye